I want to talk about support system. So over the years, I have wanted to get this surgery, some type of cosmetic surgery for years. Didn't have the money. I had somebody in my life that was just draining me financially uh, abusive, um, where I could never afford to just get, you know, lipo here or, you know, a tuck here, or, you know, nip there. Like I couldn't do it right. So once I got out of that, I said, cool, I'm saving my money to do something that I really want to do. You definitely need a support system, somebody or a team of individuals that are going to support your decision. It's scary, no matter, you know, I have kids, my kids were afraid, oh, mom, you know, come back alive. You know, you hear about the deaths, um, you know, botched surgeries, all of these things that it just drives fear, right? Drives fear of doing something else. And then you live with regrets of should have did it or why didn't I do it or blah, blah, blah. Um, just have support have support. I mean, my new circle that I have renewed friendship, um, I have some new relationships. Um, these individuals are supportive. They, they're supportive. They, you know, house set while I was gone, took care of my kids. Uh, one of my good friends actually took off a week of work to come with me to support me, even though I was told by the recovery house, I'd be having 24 hour care. I still needed the support. Like I said, I, in my other video, I would have rather have gone to an Airbnb or a hotel and just had a private nurse. But thank God that my friend was there. Even when I got back, um, my my partner, um, he was here to support me, help me shower, you know, change my stuff. Uh, it was, you need the help. You, you really do need the help and support. And so it's okay to be, you know, vulnerable, um, to not have it all together, um, to break down. Uh, even now with me going into my next phase of this journey, you know, I, I'm, I have to call on the support system again um, to, you know, fill in the gaps to where I need what I where I need support. I'm thinking about going out of the country. I don't think I'm going to have anyone come with me because I'm not getting this major surgery. I mean, it's just the repair of the dog ear and light bulb. I and I, and, and I can stay a night in the hospital. Um, and I think pay for a private nurse. So this next time around, um, I'm, you know, support. And when I say support, support and also in my decision, right? My decision to potentially go out of the country, my decision to go alone, you know, not have anybody, you know, go with me, um, you know, actually being here to, to watch my kids. Um, before I did, before this last time that I uh, went out of town, um, I made sure all of my end of life plans were together, my estate plans, like those are things that I did. I mean, I always, I mean, as a as an estate coach, that's something that I teach and do anyway all the time is, um, helping individuals get their end of life plans together. You don't have to wait until you're getting ready to get cosmetic surgery to make sure your will and everything is up to date. You just need to get it done. Always have it up to date. One less thing you got to think about. Just my two cents, something I love doing. If you haven't checked me out, you know, just know that I am the owner of Exit Bliss. I'm a positive energy freelancer. I am here to help bring order to chaos. And this whole journey could be chaotic. There's a lot of information out there. I've been gathering information for the last, I would say, eight to nine years in magazines when that was still a big thing because I have a plastic surgery magazine, the forums, the different social uh, media sites, um, surgery specific ones. I've had multiple consults. All I could say is, you know, it's more of this video was get support, get, get support, have support. If it's not your family, find a surgery group so you can have some surgery sisters uh, create that bonding that you need come to youtube don't just watch my videos watch other lady videos engage mm -hmm.